Derby is always a colourful affair. Never mind when there's a likely playoff position at stake for the winners. But things haven't been going too well for Blues with injuries lately. In fact, one wit described their treatment room as more like Holby City than Birmingham. And with both keepers, Bennett and Paul, out, Everton's Thomas Myra was drafted in at the last minute as cover. So much so, I had to put him out to Birmingham chairman. I haven't met him yet, yeah. What a, what a time to turn up. I mean, he's going to play the game you know, without just... It's going to be a fantastic experience for him. And he'll be wanting to prove himself. I think he will equate himself great today. And Myra would indeed be called upon to do just that. For 20 minutes, though, this was the closest he came to action. Then Darren Purse handballed in the area and the Norwegian had the perfect opportunity to endear himself to the Blues faithful. against two minutes. Luckily for me, I, I was able to save it. The deadlock was finally broken in the second half when David Holdsworth looped a fine header over Michael Oakes and sent St Andrews into a frenzy. Well, I just got up and trying to keep it on target, and if it goes in, there's a lot of boys and, um, in there for the knockdown as such. Um, but no, fortunately, it went in and obviously delighted. So with Blues with the upper hand, it was a surprise to everyone when Birmingham captain Martin O'Connor delivered this upper cut to King Muscat. Not difficult to see why the red card was used there, although ten minutes later the referee stumped most by brandishing it again to Brian Hughes for a second bookable offence, presumably for diving.